Okay, here's your Sears Kenmore coin out machine. And uh, it wasn't letting the water in. And so one of the first things I do is I check the timer, look and see if there's any burnt point, point contacts in there. And this one looks good. Uh, and the cog looks good as well. What I'm looking for is any burnt spots on the cog. If there's burnt spots on the cog, there's not much you can do. Sometimes you can adjust the points and then uh, smooth out the burnt spots on the cog. Sometimes you just have to replace the timer. So that timer actually looks good. There's no burnt contacts on it. And so what it was doing, it wasn't letting the water in. And so typical top loader, they'll probably be obsolete in a few years because uh, they tend to use a lot of water. <clears throat> so here's a little disclaimer. And so next thing I would do, if it's not letting the water in, here's my little jig for testing. And I'll, I'll make sure these contacts are clean and not burnt. And I'll look to see if these things are intact. Sometimes they'll melt. And you can see it, it's clearly evident. Um, but those look good. And the next step would be to run a meter across here, check for continuity. And then the next thing would be to hook the timer back up and run a test uh, to see if I have voltage here. So that's your Kenmore tip for today. If you need any timers rebuilt or uh, you need any repairs done, you can contact me at 707-443-8347. And I also teach you a course in how to repair appliances. In, uh, and if you're interested in that, give me a call. Uh, or you can send me an email. It's applianceworks at yahoo.com. Thanks.